Um, my name is Nieta Lennis and uh, I work for FinClarin that uh, coordinates and maintains the language bank of Finland or Kielipankki in Finnish. And uh, I will try to give a couple of uh, practical examples of my online teaching. So uh, FinClarin um, offers uh, three online courses uh, every year or regularly. Uh, I'm mostly responsible for running all of these. Um, so uh, although I sometimes um, manage to get a couple of uh, student assistants uh, to help me, um, but um, these are the courses that I uh, have. And uh, all of these are part of the study programs at the University of Helsinki. So um, they are already uh, sort of integrated in the uh, universities and, and we also get uh, quite many students from other universities within Finland and also from um, other clearing countries uh, sometimes. So uh, Corpus Linguistics uh, for one is an introductory course for students uh, who are starting from their first year of studies, but it also suits uh, more advanced students who may come from different fields besides linguistics. Um, just somebody who wishes to grasp and, under and to understand uh, how COPRA can be used for different purposes. Uh, and FinClarin and Clarin resources are used quite heavily during the course in different ways. And the students uh, can learn the basics of how they can locate and access different kinds of COPRA and tools. And the Corpus Linguistics course is offered twice a year. Uh, in the spring, this course can also be taken in English. And um, that is, I have both an English and a Finnish speaking group of students that are working in parallel. Uh, and uh, there are usually about 60 to 100 participants in the Corpus Linguistics course. And there's also the introduction to speech analysis, and uh, that's for phonetics students mainly. Um, but the contents can be uh, quite easily adapted to other fields as well, uh, um, since the course is completed by um, writing uh, learning diaries. And uh, the students learn the fundamentals of uh, acoustic phonetic uh, speech analysis. And they also learn some practicalities about how to annotate and transcribe speech material. And uh, this speech analysis course is also supposed to be given in English uh, next autumn although I haven't yet uh, quite started translating, so <laughs> I'm wondering. Um, but there's also a data clinic, which is for advanced students who are working on their master's thesis or uh, postgraduate students who are working on their PhD. And the clinic is supposed to help them with all kinds of practical issues they might have uh, when they are preparing and um, when they are managing their own text or speech data or data sets. And during this clinic, they also learn to write a data management plan, which they are supposed to submit. Um, so these courses have a lot of similar content, apparently, than what the previous speakers have, have already mentioned. Um, um, in the next slide, um, uh, we see the uh, example course, which is the Corpus Linguistics course. And I will now show a couple of examples of what I have done for this particular course when we changed it uh, from a regular lecture course into an online course. And currently the course consists of videos, slides, little exercises, small quizzes, peer reviewed discussions, and the students also do a workshop report uh, that they need to submit. And th that's also peer reviewed. So um, almost all of these pieces of content have uh, parallel versions in Finnish and in English. Uh, the next slide shows an example of um, a type of uh, quiz exercise that I have used in the course. The students uh, like this uh, type of exercises a lot. So um, uh, this could be easily implemented in many languages. For example, on Moodle, if you just take advantage of Clarin resources, so I have just taken fragments of concordances with the CORP concordancing tool that is available in the Language Bank of Finland. And um, uh, for the English speaking students, the concordances are from English corpora and for the Finnish ones, they are from Finnish corpora, apparently. Um, and just the idea is that the student guesses the missing word 
that's the key word in context here. So there's a bag of words and the student needs to pick the word that fits all these contexts. So students think this is quite a lot of, lot of fun and they learn why the context of a word is important for understanding its meaning. Uh, you could use this idea for uh, language learning purposes, of course. You could uh, create closed tests for language learners by using real corpora. And it's easy to um, exploit your student assistants because they can easily create a lot of similar quiz exercises. Then there's a next slide. Um, I have also created videos for my courses and this is just a, an example of how to create a simple uh, video. You often need to edit your videos a bit and there are a lot of uh, different video editors around. So uh, I use a tool called Camtasia that you see here, but it's a commercial tool and it's quite expensive. So you might want to choose something else. Anyways, uh, in the simplest case, this is just uh, um, a video with uh, the original slides and your narration. It can be a bit boring though, so the next slide shows a bit more complicated video. <laughs> you can have all kinds of uh, effects, videos, screencasting, background music, and so on. Um, but it takes a lot of time to create these. And it's good to keep your videos brief because uh, they are easier to maintain uh, if you need to change something later. And um, the students will only watch the videos if, if it's short enough. Uh, in the next slide, uh, you can see the workflow I normally use for creating and translating my videos. So I uh, record and edit the original video in Finnish. Then I uh, create Finnish captions locally on my computer. Then I upload everything to YouTube. Then I use the YouTube facility to translate the captions from Finnish to English. Then I can store the captions uh, into text files and then I can um, modify the original video project so that I just switch uh, the finished slides with the English ones and then I reuse the same captions in Finnish and in English for both videos. So I get two version of versions uh, of the same video. Here's some equipment you might find useful. <laughs> so I have a microphone and a, a stand or a selfie stick for, for a mobile phone and then I use just a video editing tool. Thank you.